Oil Technical Analysis, September 23rd, FXEmpire.com. The light sweet crude contract had a very bearish day on Thursday. As you can see, the volume spiked and the market fell. And in fact, it actually fell just a little bit under the 80 mark at one point during the New York session. As you can see, this is a very important area. And we are looking to see if this area gives way. Because of this, uh, the severity of this area, we think that a breakthrough will still have to struggle to the bottom of this hammer here. But it must be said, higher volume, big red candle, and the fact that we are closing towards the bottom of it really leads us to believe that a lot of pressure is going to be put on the 80 mark. And when it gives way, it could be a rather violent sell-off. We think waiting for the daily close uh, for Friday's session is probably the way to go in this market, though, just simply because uh, there is a thought of uh, there should be quite a bit of support underneath the 80 level right to about uh, the bottom of this hammer, and we do not want to get caught in a short squeeze. Looking at this, we can see it's been between 80 and 90 for quite some time, so a significant breakdown of this should measure out to about $70. On a daily close below 80, we will very seriously consider becoming sellers, but we feel Friday is going to be so vital that it's probably smart to be on the sidelines and let the market tell you what it wants to do. Looking at the Brent markets, you can see it's a little bit different situation in the fact that it fell hard during the Thursday session. There's really no other way to put it. We are approaching the uh, hammer uh, that we had formed that gave us our last bounce. We have lower highs from that hammer, so technical analysis dictates that it's very likely that this gives way eventually. However, the 105 area is the area we're watching at the end of the day as it is a significant support area and we're at least a good five dollars above where we feel comfortable selling. On a daily close below 100 we've been saying for quite some time we would be very comfortable selling this and would become aggressive shorters. That has not changed so we simply want to wait to see what happens on Friday and what the daily close looks like on the candles before we make any further analysis.